Hi, welcome to Raw Math. Today I'm doing a series of videos on the Gauss-Jordan elimination. Um, it's a method for solving systems of equations. This is a three variable, three equation problem. You can solve a problem like this in another method. However, it is a lot easier to organize what you're doing when you use a matrix. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to translate the system of equations into a matrix. The way we do it is we pull each of the numbers out of each of the equations. So our first equation has a negative 1x minus 5y minus 5z equals 2. Second equation, 4x minus 5y plus 4z equals 19. Last one, x plus 5y minus z equals a negative 20. Now there are a lot of ways we can start this process out. What I am going to do is what we're trying to do is we're trying to get each of the numbers in our major diagonal to be ones and all of the other numbers to be zeros. Now you might be looking at the y column and saying, beautiful, all those fives are glorious. And you would be right. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do this very systematic where I'm going to start with my very first number. And if I can make that a one, then it's seems to be an easy systematic way to solve this. So to make this a positive one, I just need to take row one times a negative one. But at the same time, if I take row one plus row three, I should be able to zero this one out. And to zero out that four, I need to do a row two plus four row ones. And if I do all three of those calculations, I should be in a nice place. Okay. I'm going to take these addition bits and pull them out so that I can do the math separate. Row 2. Row 2 is 4, negative 5, 4, 19. I'm not worried about the augmented part. The augmented just represents the equal sign. We don't need it right now. 4 times row 1 is going to be a negative 4, a negative 20, a negative 20, and an 8. And when I add down, I'm going to get a 0, negative 25 negative 16 and 27. I know these numbers look ugly, don't worry. Everything will work out in the end. Row one for the second edition is a negative one, negative five, negative five and two. Row three that we're adding to it is a one, five, negative one, negative 20. And when we add down, we get a zero, another zero, a negative six and a negative 18. I like that. I'm going to take this negative 18, negative six, negative 18, and I am going to divide by a negative six so that this becomes a zero, zero, one, three. Okay, I am going to <clears throat> take this and put it back into a matrix. So my first row is gonna become a one, five, five, negative two. <clears throat> my second row is going to become a 0, negative 25, negative 16, 27. <clears throat> my third row is going to be a 0, 0, 1, 3. I know I said I was going to go down my 1s, but I'm going to pivot on this one because it's going to be simple. Row 1 minus 5 times row 3. Row 2 plus 16 times row three. Okay, again, I'm gonna pull everything out. So row one is one, five, five, negative two. Negative five times row three is zero, zero, negative five, negative 15. So I'm gonna get a one, five, zero, negative 17. Then I'm going to take row two, which is zero, negative 25, negative 16, 27. And I'm gonna add 16 row threes, which is a zero, zero, 16. Let's see, 16 times three is 48. And when I add down, I'm gonna get zero, negative 25, zero, 60, 75. I can divide by negative 25 to turn this into zero, one, zero negative three. So now I have a one, five, 
5, 0, negative 17. A 0, 1, 0, negative 3. And a 0, 0, 1, 3. I feel we are almost done with this. I now pivot on this. I'm going to do, I'm going to replace row one with row one minus five times row two. I can't do it off to the side. I'm running out of space I'm on my paper. So I'm just doing this for my row definition. Row one is one, five, zero, negative 17. Negative five times row two is zero, negative five, zero, 15. So I get a one, zero, zero, negative two. All right, since I'm running out of space over there, I'm just gonna drop the paper down a little bit. Um, let's leave that so you can see it. I'm gonna put this all together so that I have, let's see, my first row is now one, zero, zero, negative two. My second row is a zero, one, zero, negative three. My last row is a zero, zero, one, three. If I were to translate this back into a system of equations, it would be that x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to negative 3, and z is equal to 3. I want to check that. I'm going to come back and check that with my original um, system of equations. All right, which is all the way up here. All right, my original system of equations. So let's check this to make sure it all works out. Is, let's see negative of negative 2 minus 5 times negative 3 minus 5 times 3 really equal to 2. 2 plus 15 minus 15, yes. Okay, is 4 times negative 2 minus 5 times negative 3 plus 4 times 3 really equal to 19. So we have a negative 8, we have a plus 15, we have a plus 12, that's 7 plus 12. So yep, once again, we have something that works quite nicely. Last is negative 2 plus 5 times negative 3 minus 3 equal to negative 20. Negative 2 minus 15 minus 3, yes. So my answer to the system is negative 2, negative 3, 3, written as an ordered pair. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.